Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again after a little bit of time away. I took a week vacation, um, hiking trip kind of thing with some friends. We went and did the highest point in the United States. Well, in the lower 48 United States. We didn't do Denali in Alaska, but we did uh, Mount Whitney. A beautiful hike, very hard. Uh, not a give me hike. And I, I like to think of myself as pretty fit. But it was a fun uh, challenge for me and my, my friends, and uh, we really enjoyed it. If you are out that way, you got a lot of great uh, vestiges and uh, terrain out there, very open expanses, and if you've never been out there, I encourage you to visit if you uh, have the opportunity to do so. But we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about triangle strategy, and I have no idea where I left off. Uh, I think we're doing a scales event, question mark? Uh, I think so. That's what's kind of, you know, queued up on here. So we'll jump into it, and we'll uh, see what... Uh, the story has in store for us. I don't think there's anything else going on. I don't think there. Yeah, the, we did the other side quest. Now I'm remembering. Okay. Uh, as the S Frosty Army continues, uh, it's exonerable, exhortable. Sorry. Yeah, exonerable. March on Castle Wolford. Serenona is written. Discuss the best path forward. Yep. So we have to find out if we fight, if we flee, if we just hand over the prince. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Interesting. I don't see the optional characters here. Their hearts are divided still. A compelling argument may yet change some minds. Alas, I have incomplete picture of the situation. I would prefer... I would be a poor lord if I did not hear the voice of my people. I should venture into town. Going out, my lord. Yes, I wish to ensure everything in town is in order. Okay. Understood, my lord. When your work is done, pray speak to me once more. Okay, I will do just that. Thank you. All right, so we get an exploration before we go. I should return to the hall once I've spoken with the people. Perhaps I'll learn something that will sway some minds. Okay. Uh, Anna seems to always be the one that's like undecided. She just doesn't care, in a sense. Uh, oh, the glitter. HP ring. Anything else? Um. So my brother sent me what was what has been deemed the the golden path. I have not looked at it. I'm trying to avoid it. A terror like none other came over me when I saw the state uh, in which you returned, my lord. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm at the point now where that happens. Uh, because it certainly seems like very thematic in the sense of, like, you better make the right choice that's going to irrevocably alter your gameplay. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. So what about you, dude? Everybody looks so scared. What happened, Marcer? I can't tell you, my guy. You should live the life of a free child. All right, what do you have to say? I prayed you'd never, no, we'd never know the conflict after the Salt Iron War. Yet here we stand, peering into the abyss. Though it was Glenbrook and Esfrost launching an attack on Hyzanth all those years ago, the Holy State, reeling from the surprise assault, turned to Lord Simon for help. Back then, Wolfort was still an independent clan. Ah, oh, and agreed to an alliance. All Norzelia was poor for the fighting, its nations and people were left depleted. So I have heard. Father told me stories of the secret meeting of King Regna that restored peace to the realm. Indeed, it was they who brought Hyzanth and Esfrost to the table, and then the war to an end. It was your father's efforts that led the king to bring your house to into the royal family's fold as the... Oh, okay. So we sided with Hyzanth. We were an independent clan, but then we chose to join Regna. Oh, interesting. Wars brewing Lord Segna, Lord Cerno, and navigating it. I find myself in the unfortunate position of having thought peace would be everlasting. I cannot allow the currents to carry me along. I must use them to my advantage and turn the tide to battle come. My father risked his life to bring honor to our house. I'll not be the one to tarnish his legacy. Ah, these are all very ambiguous in a sense. Um, 
I don't think I played the game where I thought that peace would be everlasting. It would be hard to maintain it, uh, but it's certainly something that I don't think would be everlasting, from my own personal sense. Uh, I cannot allow the currents to carry me away using it. I, I feel like this is, like, not the right one. I, I'll do the bottom one. After all, it is a legacy of compassion and fighting for what's right that makes us proud to call this place home. Though I would warn you, legacies are a slippery thing and easily ruined. Tread carefully and choose wisely, Lord. I shall take that to heart. Thank you. All right, cool. Lure's secret trap to the dot the enemies. If the tales are to be believed, they serve to make quite quick work of any invaders, though I can't help wonder why I keep them. Secret traps. It's hardly to say what this might mean for us. They might well be employed to give us an advantage in the battle, but at what cost to our own? Ah, that's good. Secret weapons. So that means, oh, if we're doing like guerrilla war tactics, that's not ideal in any uh, conflict because oh, quality iron. Quality iron as opposed to just regular iron. Kitty. Yeah, you thought I didn't see the kitty. I saw the kitty. Um, the guerrilla tactics is not what you want to use in wartime because, like, in Vietnam, in the jungles of, uh, uh, in Indonesia and, uh, along the Korean coastline and such, there are still landmines that are active and people die every year from that. And you would think, like, that's ridiculous. How is that possible? How are they still active? Landmines, some of them don't have a true expiration date their their triggers are you know and if they're not exposed to the air they don't rust and they're buried under the ground so it's actually quite uh, alarming that people still die from landmines uh this long after a conflict so same can be said for guerrilla war tactics where there's uh, uh spike pits and uh, trip lines and other things like that in the woods that were set up decades ago that have not uh been disarmed or activated and the wildlife there uh, doesn't traditionally, you know, investigate those things. Uh, maybe they do, and maybe they trigger them, but it's scary, is all I'm going to say. So, why has Esfrost uh, attacked? I thought it was conflict behind us with the opening of the mines. And what of your marriage to Frederica? Was this really a ruse? Esfrost's betrayal will not stand. They will answer for the atrocities. I share your confusion. Frederica knew nothing of this. Pray do not blame her for Esfrost's actions. The kingdom has no true alliances nor true enemies. We shall sue for peace and work to avoid conflict. I like uh, I like all of these, actually. I mean, I... For the... I want to say the virtuous part of me wants to go down that Esfrost has done something wrong. We know that they've done something wrong, so they should be held responsible for their atrocities. I want to convince my people that Frederica knew nothing of this and that she uh, should be not held accountable for an entire nation's, or at least their leadership's, uh, uh, actions. And then, the kingdom has no true allies, nor true enemies. We shall sue for peace and avoid conflict. This last one is very uh, uh, neutral in a lot of ways, it sounds like. I would like to pick... This one. Yes. You may have the right of it. Kingdoms are no less fickle than the people within them. We have our scrapes and scra uh, scraps and scrapes. Though you wouldn't live next to someone so volatile for very long now, would you? Of course not. But meeting such behavior with belligerence can lead only to war. We must not let passion our passions get the better of us as we assess the situation and chart a course forward. I understand. I place my faith in you. So, I was very Jedi, <laughs> you know, being very neutral in our response. Oh, here we go. Uh, there's a paper called Calling for the Arrest of Prince Roland says they want him taken alive. I shudder to think what they will become the kingdom now. If he's 
to be delivered alive, I'd wager they have no plans of executing, at least not anytime soon. I should let the others know this. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, that could also just be a ruse to route him out and get, uh, or, uh, uh, or flush him out. Uh, let's see here. Is it true? Has this rust attacked the Crown City? Uh, how could the nobles have let this happen? The nobles didn't let it happen. People have ambitions. Oh, I didn't even see that there. That was a cheeky hidden item right there. That's why you always gotta check. All the places. And you can spin. Remember, you can spin the camera. Uh, I might make my way to the capital, but my bar... What's the meaning of this anyway? Saltmonger. Ah, from Hyzant. I got Malice to feed home. So he's looking to trade, and he knows nothing of the conflict. Further understanding of that is going to be interesting how that affects Hyzant, because we haven't really seen that. We only saw it once. There's commotion in the capital, be sure, but I'll be assuming the Dawn Spear will see to that. Aye, the sun won't set on Glenbrook till Sir Maxwell falls. Ha, ah, it's as if it will ever happen. Sir Maxwell laid down his life so that he can see another day. We must do all in our power to see that his noble sacrifice was not in vain. Interesting. So they don't know, and we haven't made it known, about the Dawn Spear's sacrifice yet. Oh, there is something here. I'm looking for more. I love the lore of these games. I love finding little squirreled away, like, uh, uh, newspaper articles and such. Uh, not that this has a newspaper. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Let's see. Let's go in here. Is there anything else? Mama's not herself today. Has something scary happened? Ah, yes. Has the Crown City truly fallen? What madness is this? Yes, so that's that's the harsh reality of it. Where, because of how um, Esfrost attacked, they did not anger the people by slaughtering them. They, oh, enter, okay. They knew exactly what they were doing when they did what they did. Um, and how they attack the, the city. Right, let's go down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Luck ring. Okay. Glad I looked there. Anything else? Make sure you're spinning the camera, because I would not have found that. Oh, is there something here? No, we don't want to do that. Okay, enter. Uh, I was in here already. Yes, I think it was in here already. I don't see anything more. Okay. Off we go. of these houses, right? No, I can't. Okay, so if I were to return to the council chamber... Okay, so he asked me the same thing. Okay. Alright, now let's see what this is about. Let's talk to our people. I... I thought she was going to have dialogue, but I guess not. Our kingdom needs Prince Roland now more than ever. He is to be protected above all others. I bet it looks talking to a stone wall. I'm going to back off of that. Yeah, I, I agree with that. What do you need? Roland is worth more to Esfrost as a political pawn than a corpse. They will not kill him once they have him. At least that is how I see it. If we are to do what gives us the most hope, then Roland himself has to do it, has the right to do it. This one should be... Okay, so that's an interesting. Um, we must protect Roland at all costs. Okay, so we can talk to Hewitt into I... giving over Roland, potentially. A peace built by forsaking our friends and countrymen in their time of need is no peace at all. I know what I ask is not easy, but I pray we find a bloodless path out of this conflict. You better luck talking to someone. Yes, I think that's true as well. So, stave off the S. Frosty army and protect Roland. So, Huet, Frederica, and Erebor want to fight. Benedict, Roland himself, and Gila 
want to surrender Prince Roland and avoid conflict. Interesting. Here's what I think. You've been loyal to the crown for years, lad. You understand what they're asking for is treasonous, don't you? He's the king's own flesh and blood. We should be protecting him, not offering him up on a silver platter. So Gil is the only one who's flexible in that group. Uh, I would be wise to continue the fight. It would not be wise to continue the fight. Protecting the Highness's life is our first priority. It would be safer to accept their conditions. In other words, you feel that Roland is more used to Esfrost alive as a puppet than dead. Precisely. Furthermore, we must consider Prince Cordelia's, who currently is in the enemy's clutches alone. Mmm. They will listen at the very least. We must protect Roland at all costs. Okay. Interesting. 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 This is fun. I like this Looks political sad, dichotomy of it all. We will you surrender the prince and why not? Will you choose House Wolford for the whole kingdom? It is a question of our priorities. What matters most to us? Okay, so she's undecided, but I can doesn't seem like she cares to protect Roland. She more cares about... No, she does care about protecting Roland. Surrendering him, she doesn't want to do that. Okay. Is that everyone? No, I didn't talk to Roland yet. Sarah Noah. There must be a way to avoid weighing my life against those of others. I trust we can find it. Decide what you will. I shall follow whatever judgment you pass. So I can bring him over, so I could potentially put everybody into protecting Prince Roland, it seems. Except for probably Benedict, because he'll only listen to reason, he's not guaranteed to jump over. So I guess that's the same thing. Um, interesting how this will work. Can I... Nope, I don't want to do that. I wanted to learn more about the bounty on their head. Prince Roland, how can I do that? So, I don't know if I showed this before, but this is uh, really cool. This is, shows you the path that you uh, selected for the uh, gameplay. Whether So, this was the choice after the... Um, I think it was after... Yeah, Regna... Yeah, so this was the uh, tournament right here, and it showed that we went to Hyzanth and not to Esfrost. And then now we're at another uh, uh, decision point, essentially, and the, these paths will branch off. Um, so in your gameplay, you can keep a better catalog of what choices you've made and what choices you haven't. Um, character stories. These are, these are from those two that we got earlier. And I want to know about... Not that one. Do... Did it not put it in here? There, okay. Can do, do I share this with them? How do I share this with them? Um, I don't see how to like share this information with them. Unless it will be automatic when we go into the event. Uh, that's going to be, you know, a blind spot for me. Um... All right, let's see here. So what do I want to do? What do we want to do? Where do we want to go? I really want to protect Roland, I think. That's my idea. We can always break him out and Cordelia out later if we give him up. What was Anna's Lord choices? Surrender Roland is the only way. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to try and give up Prince Roland. Sarah Noah. It's not letting me. Okay, because so, he's in the camp of surrendering. What do you need? So if I talk with. Yeah, okay, so I, I have to talk with Huet, basically. Because those three are steadfast in their resolve. We'll, we'll give up Prince Roland. We'll see what happens. This will be interesting. But it's not letting me... Wow, okay, so... Uh, surrender Prince Roland, surrender Prince Roland. Surrendering is the only way. So I have to... Lord Saranoa. I want to try and find... Who's the person that I can talk to? To... You want to be given up. You want to be given up. You're okay with it. I will try and talk with Frederica. I... So here's my thing. If we give up Prince Roland... This is actually a really good uh, nuance in the game. So it's political ties. If you betray somebody... They're always going to wonder if you're going to betray them. That's the, the quintessential problem with betrayal, is that anyone who would do something against their preconceived loyalties will always have a mark against them in the sense that they'll do it again if something better comes along. So that's why conviction and discipline and honor towards one faction, no matter how difficult it is to maintain you really should maintain it because if you don't you will always be marked as someone who could be bought or someone who could waver and i think honestly now that i'm talking that through lord saranoa i think i'm going to offer to protect Thing, I'm going to protect him. This is lo oh, locked. Okay. We cannot capitulate in, uh, to every demand our enemies make. House Wolford shrinks from no enemy. We will strategize and fight as we always have. I want to choose this one. In that case, every demand. You foresee this being the first of many. Yes, I do, actually. And it is true that bending the knee might cost us the opportunity for a counterattack. In any case, we must not be I need time. I'll consider this matter with what time we have. Okay, so I've talked to her. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's because it'll come up in conversation when I do the dialogue with them. I get you. Alright, so let me see here. I... So I need to talk with, not Frederica, but let me talk to Roland. Sarah Noah. You want to be surrendered, but I don't want you to surrender. We must protect Prince Roland at all cost. I will not allow my life to be weighed against those of other people. And then Dawn Spear Sacrifice. See, okay, so that's an interesting mechanic. I had no idea that was a thing, so I'm glad I talked with the people and found this one. Have you forgotten Lord Maxwell's dying? Or would you render his noble sacrifice for naught? Because this one unlocked, I'm going to pick it. I don't know if that's going to impact the game. Certainly. Master taught that whoever rules is righteous by virtue of their station alone. But now, though I weigh my words more heavily than most, I know not what is right. However, I appreciate your speaking your mind but I have my own thoughts on the matter. After all, if this matter can be settled by me alone, is it not best to do so? Oh. I think I'm gonna do it. I wonder. You mean to say such a thing is available to us? We may well drive the enemy out, but we'd bring harm to our own people in the process. What 
are we are you willing to pay that price? I can no longer discern what is right and wrong. I place my fate in your hands. Rolling is deep in thought. So he's undecided. Okay. Interesting. So just like they said, we would harm our own people. I am not a fan of that choice because I just wanted to see what happened with the story arc. I chose that one. Let me talk to Here's Aragorn. what I think. No, not Aragorn. I need to talk to Benedict. Or Huet. Let me talk with I... Huet. Surrendering Glenblick, future king is is our hot uh, to our hoted foe. Surely they will not go along with this. Resting the duchy. Resisting the duchy would not would spell end to us all. Roland and I agree we must keep peace. I cannot complete compile. Okay, so I have to choose one of these now. I can't back out. Let's see here. Resisting the duchy would now... The duchy now would spell the end for us all. Let's try this one. But what does our future king have without its prince? The kingdom have without its prince now. I would be none of adventure. There is no hope in our words. Only a moonless night from which Grenbrook shall never emerge. Then I ask you again, my lord, do you truly mean to surrender Prince Roland to our oppressors? Oh, so she's the one who has that. Only on the prince. Good point. So you ask us to swallow our pride and surrender the prince in hopes of forestalling our own demise. I would suppose this is the sort of cold rationalization that being lord of a high house demands. I don't know what to there do. There are no good options. Alas, I must make my peace with one. Interesting. So I swayed her. All right, cool. I think we'll we'll do the thing. Yes, we're ready. I may have totally just hosed my game. I don't know, but that was fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. All right, Puma is my friend. Do I see which side they place them on? So because I didn't talk to them, did they not have any dialogue? Let's see. Those three I didn't really try and swim. I agree. I maintain the courage of our of my convictions. Well you were undecided before. I cannot be swayed. As long as I draw breath, I shall never have friends. They shall never have friends. Okay, so that's understandable where she voted. Okay, so if I had talked with everyone and tried to sway them, that would have changed things. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. This is good. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Wow. That was pretty resounding. Stave off SRSD by fighting. Okay, and protecting Prince Roland. That's our course of action. The way forward is decided. We protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home. All right. The decision has been made. The judgment is made. All right. The scales tip, and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Very well. Then I will do all in my power to see that it proves the right one. I fight with you, my friend. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfrost. Well, now that it's a soul upon the scales completed. Busy Gamer Dad just made the most epic choice. We'll see. 
how that pans out. It could be completely and totally game breaking, uh, but we're going to have some fun with it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm having a lot of fun with this playthrough and I can't uh, fathom where this story is going to go now. We'll see you in the future episodes. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next ones.